Hello, we are going to prove the same side exterior angles theorem for this video. This theorem states that if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then each pair of same side exterior angles is supplementary or their measurements sum up to 180 degrees. To help us prove this theorem, we have here this figure showing a transversal line T cutting parallel lines P and R. Notice that lines P and R are given to be parallel so that it could actually capture the statement of the theorem. And here, angle A and angle H, per definition, they are considered to be same side exterior angles. And we need to show that in these situations, if lines P and R are parallel, they should be supplementary. The proof of this may be given by a two-column proof here where we list down all statements and their reasons. We need to show this as our last statement here so that we could prove this theorem. The first part of this theorem is where we list the given statement. So statement number one, transversal line T cuts, passes, intersects, two parallel lines, P and R. This is again the given. Out from this, and since we have declared that lines P and R are parallel as given, we could now look into different relationships of angles formed for this figure and probably use them to show this statement here. What I would like to do here is to name or add or construct another angle. Let's say angle B in this given figure here. I'm going to make it here as part of my statement. Angle B. And since angle B and angle H are considered to be alternate exterior angles, I'm going to state it here. Angle B is the alternate exterior angle of angle that's of angle H. Again, I am placing here angle B and I'm stating that angle B and angle H to be exterior angles. This is by construction. Now, since I have placed it here and with the given statement as construction, I can make a case on the relationship of angle B and angle H. I could say, number three, angle B is congruent to angle H. Again, I could say angle B is congruent to angle H. I need to come up here with the reason so that this is acceptable. Since angle B and angle H are alternate exterior angles formed when a transversal line cuts parallel lines P and R, this is true under the alternate exterior angles theorem. Again, angle B and angle H are alternate exterior angles formed by a transversal line cutting par la parallel lines. Then this is true with this theorem. Then, I need to have a case for the relationship of angle A and angle B since the intended output is to show that angle A and angle H to be having a relationship which is supplementary. I haven't made a case for angle A here yet. So I'm going to come up with that case using the added angle B. I could say, 
looking at the figure, angle A and angle B are forming a linear pair. Per definition, two angles, rather, two adjacent angles that are forming a straight angle are considered to be angles forming a linear pair. And that's actually here, the definition of a linear pair. With that, knowing that there is a good relationship between the measurements of angles forming a linear pair, I can make a case that angle A and angle B are supplementary. This is actually given to us by the linear pair postulate, stating that two angles forming a linear pair are supplementary. And supplementary are related to the measurements of the angles. And then we could say that the measurement of angle A plus the measurement of angle B is equal to 180 degrees and that is by definition of supplementary angles. Since in statement number 6, we have come up with the relationship between measurements and it's closer to the thought of supplementary, we need to also construct the relationship between the measurement of angle B and the measurement of angle H so that it could be used to be merged here in statement number 6. I'm talking about making another statement which is related to statement number 3 and since angles B and H are congruent, we could also say that the measurement of angle B is equal to the measurement of angle H. This is by definition of congruent angles. This is very important as we also relate statement number 7 to statement number 6. Sorry, I'm going to move this up a little bit here. Again, with the relationship of statement number 3, we have come up with the measurement of angle B is equal to the measurement of angle H and this is by definition of congruent angles as already have shared by statement number 3. This statement number 7 is very important because we could actually use substitution property to come up with another equation combining the two. Actually, that would become the measurement of angle A and instead of angle B for statement number 6, we could say plus measurement of angle H be equal to 180 degrees. Again, the reason is using substitution property. Okay. Now that we have this, since the, the measurements of the two angles is 180 degrees or the sum of the measurement of the two angles is 180 degrees, we can now say for the last statement that angle A and angle H are supplementary by the definition of supplementary angles. This is related to our target here. Pardon my grammar. This is R. Now that we have shown that from this given figure, angle A and angle H are supplementary with using these nine statements and different reasons, we have shown that it's true that when, a parallel, when two parallel lines are cut by transversal, that each pair of same side exterior angles is supplementary. This is the proof for this theorem.